in 2019, we got one of the final Nerf Blasters in the Elite series. I believe it was either the Trilogy or the Falcon pack, I'm not sure. Basically a, a, a reskin of the Sharp Fire, but with different, you know, like different aesthetics to it. And then in 2020, we got the Elite 2.0 series. Why is Elite 2.0 hated so much? Well, here's the thing about Elite 2.0. Elite 2.0 was given to us just out of nowhere. There were leaks of it online. We saw it for the first time and we all thought, hmm, that's interesting. Is this gonna be an upgrade or is this just gonna be another thing they do aside from Elite, the original Elite series? But when it came to knowledge that this was supposed to be an upgrade, a lot of people were disappointed. A lot of people were upset. And when now in 2022, looking back on the Elite 2.0 series, we can safely say that this is, a, this is a decision that shouldn't have been finalized. They should have not replaced the good old classic Elite Blasters with Elite 2.0. These blasters are basically reskins kind of like how Coop 772 makes fun of how oh everything's a jolt reskin <laughs> but in in 2020 like as a marketing thing marketing your blasters as an upgrade from an original long running series of regular blasters that had no problems well had some flaws but the blast like the bla the, the main category of those blasters underneath the elite name there was nothing really wrong with them. I mean, you had great blasters, sure. You had great blasters, sure, but like, sure, they only could go about, like, they were marketed as shooting 70 feet, but with these, they shoot about the exact same, and the colors are basically worse. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You have great colors, blue and orange, and then you replace them with... What shade of blue is this? Is this a baby blue? And also look at this. If you if and like if you design your blasters to the point where they feel more cheap, which they are, they do they are technically and like compared to this, these blasters are glued shut. Look, there's no screws in here. The plastic looks all damaged and bent and broken. And so the potential to mod modify these blasters has been completely washed and it's been erased. You can't modify these blasters. The Elite, you can. Elite 2.0, you can't. And in Elite 2.0, there have been some good blasters, like the Turbine, except for, you know, this. But you... Well, you have you have you have blasters like the Flip 16, which first of all it's very front heavy. It does have a smooth prime, but you have this garbage stock. This stock that if you're going if you're playing very hard, it's just gonna end up snapping. Hasbro, what were you thinking designing a blaster like this? And it's not even, I thought this would be the successor to the rough cut. I thought this would be the rough cut, but better. But this is somehow like, and this is something that I do genu I genuinely believe. With every, and I just now noticed you can see the fan, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but with every like five, with every one step that Hasbro takes to do something that's good going forward, they take five steps backwards. They, they take five steps back. Was the Elite 2.0 series really necessary? I mean, sure, we, we, we do have some, you know, pretty, pretty standard blasters. You have a good blaster for, say, for example, the Ranger. Smooth Prime holds five extra darts a stock attachment and it's just cool ergonomics. The grip definitely feels standard 
and it has slay on fire. That's a good blast. But then you have reskins, blasters that are blasters that are just taken from older blasters that don't really have a place. Well, they do. They do exist, so you can have the modern versions of these, you know, old classics like the Fire Strike or the Night Finder. But the Vault, it just feels more cheap. And Elite 2.0 is like carved into the plastic, which I guess is nice. They're still not painted on both sides. Word, a, like the word, like a word, the word vault could have been painted on both sides. Of the world. And then you have the trio, which I, I personally think that this is a like I would say this is like a better looking design than than the triad. Hasbro, just please. I'm running out of things to say. This video is probably already long enough as it is, but. Hasbro, you have a chance to make Elite 2.0 something better, better than just the reskins, better than just the few good blasters, better than just the hot trash that you pull out. I mean, look at this. Most kids that are using this are going to want to operate this quickly. And the stock is just total crap. I mean, what kid is gonna be able to hold this? Get a flip eight. It's much more better. But if you guys, uh, if you guys like this video of this, the fourth episode of I Talk, then make sure to. Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna say anything. Like, subscribe at your own will. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's iTalk episode, and I'll, I'll see you guys soon.